Hello world, taxation is theft. Welcome to this stateless codecast and this is the first video in a series on kind of recursively setting up the statelesscode.com website. So um, you can see here that I've got a um, Bluehost hosting um, for a WordPress site for statelesscode.com and since most of my other work and videos has been in Ruby, the question might be, well, why not do this with Rails? Uh, so the the main reason is because I want to get the, the website up. I'm about, got already about 100 videos um, in my, uh, when you combine my Ruby Gem Nerd Dice series and uh, contributing to Rails and setup and configuration. And so I wanted something where I could start getting that content out there on the website itself rather than um, exclusively through third parties like YouTube and Facebook. So, um, and the other reason why I'm not using Rails is because I wanna do other things in Rails and creating a, uh, trying to reinvent WordPress in Rails um, to do a blog and kind of that sort of functionality website. Um, it's probably not the most exciting use of our time we're not going to um, WordPress has lots of employees and lots of capital and time that they've used to build their website uh, and platform and so I'm just going to use it uh, and there are some times again don't be uh, ideologically too married to a particular tool sometimes uh, the right tool for the job isn't the one that you're uh, you always want to go go to in your tool belt, but uh, we're gonna um, set this up, and I will uh, will muddle through this uh, together. So I'm not a PHP expert. I'm not a WordPress expert. I have uh, experience doing WordPress, kind of from older versions. I kind of fell out of it. Um, maybe one of my other series will be um, sprucing up my um, MichaelDushman.com website, but for right now, we're going to see if we can get to that hello world taxation is theft level here. So I'm here on my home. I go to my sites and statelesscode.com and go back. So this is what we got here. Note the, the not secure here. So one of the things that we're going to do is um, let me go to manage site. So this is the the Bluehost site panel here. Um, there's a security section where there is an SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. So if I go and proactively write HTTPS statelesscode.com, you can see the um, connection is secure and it works with HTTPS. But I don't want to access HTTP at all in this site. So let's take a look at how to, um, to do that. There it is, force HTTPS. It's gonna be managing the HT access file. So let's see if we can find it. Advanced files, file manager. So let's try it. Advanced. Come on. file manager Okay, I'll go to the web root Which is probably 
here. Uh, I need to see hidden files. requires going into settings show hidden files there is my there's my dot ht access file I'll pause make sure I don't have anything sensitive in there all right so it seems like I can just bypass that edit item there save changes all right so let's see what happens now if I try to do HTTP So now we are getting rerouted. So that's good. Let's see here. Exit out of that. Exit out of that. Back to home. Be unimpressed with the load time. All right. So now. Let's see if we can manage site. Let's take a look at some of the other things that it's providing. Performance security. Plugins. Settings. Our options about comments. SSH access. Um, you can do some PHP of my admin, file manager. I guess when I'm done, I turn off this coming soon page to make it live. So let's. Disable comments on old posts. I'll turn that off for now. All right, so now I can click into log into WordPress. It should launch the first time here, and we're into the the setup page here. So it kind of gives you a some guiding stuff about um, what to rec what what to do before launching your site. So your home page um, by default, most recent posts you've made, you can customize it and offer better experience to your users. We'll click on this and see what the what it does. So this looks like it's kind of a, what you see is what you get. Editor. Yeah. 
Ja. Not do any of that for now. Okay, so let's leave that. Look at some of the other things that are. So home became a draft um, privacy policy sample page. So that's in our pages section here. We'll go up to. So this is the kind of the Bluehost specific things. It gives information about a contact page, an about page more content, make it look just right with, um, they're trying to upsell premium themes. We're gonna build our own theme here, I believe in subsequent um, casts. And then um, it's got the, the launch with confidence, which I imagine goes in and does the equivalent to the um, disable the um, the preview site there and information about the the site um, gives you information about themes you can see that it's trying to sell you the premium themes I'd imagine there are non-premium themes if not i can just you can find a wordpress.org theme and upload it it's not really um, uh, same thing with plugins premium plugins um, i don't know no oh, because this is all the the bluehost stuff so you kind of have your Bluehost stuff, and then you have your actual WordPress home here. So this is um, kind of more traditional WordPress stuff. You can manage your pages here. You can. Take a look at tools, plugins. And what you've got there. You can add a new plugin, you can upload a plugin. So We'll I think we'll we'll stop it there and before we um, before we go any further I will um, go in and um, well st stop for this um, for this video and then in the uh, the subsequent videos, um, I'll, I'll go in and get the uh, my local development um, environment set up and uh, start working on that to uh, kind of create a more customized theme. Um, I'm going to use I think I'm going to use underscore s as my um, as my basis for the theme, and so we'll get going on that. But um, that is. I guess we haven't gotten to the level of well, the world. I'll edit this. Oh, it got published already. So yeah, I'll edit this. Hello world.
So I'll pause, write a brief little post here. So I've got my hello world post updated. I'll do some category categories and tags and stuff like that. So, so here's my iteration on the Hello World taxation is theft post. I added links to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Um, and then um, on the post, um, went in and um, added the Agile category, added a featured image with the logo, wrote an excerpt. So we'll let that be that for now, and we'll get going with um, starting to customize this in our next video. Oh, one last thing on this first post. So uh, you do want to go into settings and then general and make sure that you update the um, site title and then tagline will be where have it. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.